And we begin with that breaking news. President Trump indicted for alleged election meddling in Georgia. We're going to take a live look, as you can see there. This is the Fulton County Courthouse, where details are just coming in. We are told the district attorney is expected to talk shortly. But, Shannon, I got something to the count of 41 counts here. We don't know what the individual counts are. It's not just the president, but some of the former president, that is, but also some of his attorneys. But this whole case is centered around former President Trump's alleged effort to illegally undo his loss in the state. Bree Jackson breaks it down for us tonight. The grand jury hearing evidence surrounding former President Trump's alleged role in efforts to overturn Georgia's 2020 election results, handing up 10 indictments to Judge Robert McBurney, who remained tight lip about their decision. Details of the charges have not yet been released. The Fulton County District Attorney, Fonnie Willis, arguing that Mr. Trump and his allies broke the law in their efforts to overturn Georgia's 2020 election results, laying out evidence, including this 2021 call to the Secretary of State. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes. The GOP frontrunner insists he's innocent. We don't take plea deals because I did nothing wrong. And has accused Willis, a Democrat, of a partisan investigation. For some, there's a sense of indictment fatigue. I feel as if it's all one-sided. We really need to kind of say, hey, you know, we have a new Republican Party that is not part of that Trump thing. The Georgia indictment comes just over a week before Trump's Republican rivals face off in their first debate. And unlike former President Trump's previous three court appearances, the entire process in Georgia could play out on live television. The state law there says that cameras are allowed in the courtroom with the judge's approval. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News. Again, that breaking news, President Trump indicted tonight by a grand jury in Georgia. Bree mentioned next week's debate here in Milwaukee. The former president has qualified, but still has not said one way or the other if he will participate.